Hello and welcome to iDrive. Today we are here with Ami Avi Kanor and we are here with Joey Hassan. Hey, do nothing much. Today we are the star of the show, the Toyota Mark X. This is the car that has actually satisfied both the worlds of luxury and sports. Indeed. And I took confusion clear to it. This is a proper non facelifted Mark X. We actually usually talk about the fact that if you want to do a facelift, a version of the car, but this is the real thing. This is the it real is. deal. It is and the uh, that they ever since they discontinued the Mark II line, so this is actually a combination of the Camry and the Cressida that are chilo. So it's a combination of both sportings that are available and also executive. It's like an all-in-one package. It is indeed. And Bangladesh market, this is the only 2.5 liter V6 engine vehicle that are priced in onyctai affordable. The prices for this car, if it's a 2012 model, starts at 62 lakhs and ends at 1 crore 10 if it's a 2016 G Sports Mark X. This being a 2012, a price tag of 67 lakhs is available for purchase at Car House Limited. Our Agari color spectrum is black, pearl, silver, red, blue, yellow, yellow. Heard yeah, yeah, yellow, yellow. And purple. But before we do that, Joey, I would like to brief history about that. The Mark X is an executive car manufactured by Toyota for the Asian market. The first generation was from 2004 to 2009. The second generation was from 2009 and is ongoing with a facelift, which means our star of the show is the facelifted version of the second generation Mark X and is currently, with no competition to others, in this segment, making it a statement in its own class. The exterior of the all new Mark X. Now, first of all, Mark X car is not your regular everyday, you know, you see on the road with a car. It is something exclusive and, and executive at the same time and sporty. So, this is the second generation, like I've said before, and it, it received a facelift in 2012. So, this is the latest iteration, and you can see it is extremely aggressive. And if you the rear view mirror, you're going to feel like okay, someone like a you know. It's aggressive, yet it's subtle. Yes. Mane, the, the sleek lines, the 3D design headlights, even fog lights have HID. It has projection. Our bonnet and bolster is not too much. So it's actually subtle looks, but the car is wide, so it has a very good stance. You're talking about something regarding the stance? Yes, of course. Stance wise, the Genius camera usually calculates the guy to dict things on a niche mono hotse, but in real sense, it's not. Jothesh to ground, mane ground clearance hotse. So even if you roll at a like small speed, like height kilo to jodi amre guy to choli, dud theke dekhe mono hobe on a speed a guy to hotse. Only because of its speed presence and its stance and look. And I personally love this. DRL. Oh, beautiful so light. Do I. Mean, light Not only that, elaborating what you said, this car has a very low center of gravity. And the height of the center of gravity is low, the car is driving pleasure and overall the ambience in regards to driving is really, really good. This car is moving along the sides. This has a very nice body line. This is black in color, so it's a combo. But the whole body is Sculpt kora and fender gula ekto full ano so that you you have that effect. It's wrapped with 18 inch rims with 245 40 18 Dunlop tires, which are performance tires, winker mirrors, a sunroof, which is very rare, close to impossible to find here in Japanese domestic cars. It's actually not possible. And rear tinted windows all the way with a nice spoiler at the back and dual exhaust. Which is functional. Yeah, functional. Definitely. And rear tail lights gula aget ta thikhe much more aerodynamic, looks good, and it is wraparound kora. So overall, this is like a complete package and black hot guy to looks very gangster bro. Oh, it is a complete package. Our <laughs> oje bollo functional exhaust. Basically, maximum luxury car hai. Amra dekhi je, do te exhaust dao hai just for looks. Functional na kena. Because they're two liters. Two liters mean four cylinders. But this has a V6 engine which we will elaborate and show it to you right now. So, we're moving on to our engine section. Before we go into the engine details, Eta Boleda Oti Jamadar iDrive, this is for the first time we are reviewing a car that is at the highest displacement of all the cars that I'm reviewing. Why? Because this is powered by a 2.5 liter V6 engine, which output is 212 horsepower and 260 Newton meter of torques. There you go. This is still date. Well, 
I'm going to explain about the V6 engine fact. Just, I'm going to tell you the V6. V6. Doesn't mean I can't explain. You may. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. This is a V6 engine. So, there are two blocks to this engine. And in there's six cylinders. Three here, three there. They play it like this. Cylinder is like this. Ignition is like this. This is like this. Crisscross. And this guy is too underpowered because Toyota could have added more power. But there is no replacement for displacement. So, this car is underpowered. Holo, after 140, this car is a rocket. Like expensive sports cars would have a hard time keeping up with this in a proper driver's hand. Yeah. High speed range. High speed range. So what they did was, AG Intake manifold. Look at this. They're stacked. They're stacked, and they pass to one throttle body and one intake. What they could have done is a intake manifold. We're gonna do side place for it. They could have made two intakes with two throttle bodies. Why they didn't do that? Because it's expensive, number one. Yeah, the price range on it better, Jito. Do they even have a banana fill, Jito? It are other G Sports, or the supercharged variant, or the 3.5 liter Mark X. They will keep you sell it, Jito. So, but it ain't Jito, Jito. And since this is a V6 engine, if you put an aftermarket exhaust, this will sound. This is one of the best sounding Toyotas out there. Aftermarket exhaust style custom hota hobe. There's a Porsche Magnum exhaust, which you have to retrofit to the Mark X. And if you put that, this car sounds like a beast. It's amazing. Well, I know so much because I love Mark X's, as you can see. I'm going to take a break now. Break it for us and the rest of the show. When we went to Mark X's interior review, starting off, this car's interior is very to the point. The gauge clusters are driver focused. It has the buttons and everything. It does not confuse you at all. Simple AC buttons, dual zone climate control, a stereo system with Bluetooth and navigation, and a DVD player. Navigation system actually works in Bangladesh with the Google Maps. Wow. For real? Yeah, for real. Nice. Sunroof which tilts and opens, the controls are here, LED reading light, a sunglass holder, compartment here, two compartments actually, leather wrapped armrest, leather wrapped steering wheel, paddle shifters, volume controls, gear lever, jeta also leather wrapped and DTSH side in you have the sports mode. Ekhane push start button, mirror collar shop kitsu, are to the very to the point, traction control off if you want to drift, sport mode which activates the sport suspension and eco mode which saves fuel. So Butchley Barton is very much to the point with an 8 speaker stereo system which actually has big coaxial speakers and all around at the airbag. How is it at the back? Well, rear seating is again the first Volvo. It also has a separate Alada Acta compartment light which is LED, which is a very nice touch. The roofing material is good. You shouldn't have a complaint. And uh, I really like the fact mane, how the interior shade follows the shade of the color. Two tone jodi also halka roof shaho and it, uh, here and there gloss material da ose, that is the touch which is very nice. Windows are all auto and a very good touch for the rear compartment is rear AC vents. Jeta Bangladesh khatche onik jury dorko because I'm there. We all know how hot it gets. Seats are very comfortable, almost semi bracket bola jai and very high quality fabricated seats regular. Armrest with cup holders, tinta adjustable headrest. Here is a, well, this bit here is adjustable, which is nice. And Dodger um, Monte cup holders. Well, bottle holder actually. And I really like the fact that you can have a groove for the to facilitate your um, leg space if you're tall and head space is sufficient. It's pretty good. You get all of this into something which is very much um, cost effective on both of but. End of the day, it's a Toyota, so ultimately, but the maintenance cost is a little bit less. Resale value. Resale value. So all in all, I think it's a very good, good package. Let's go. Starting off, we're in normal eco mode right now. In eco mode, you can barely feel any power in this car. The V6, the power to kick in could take two time lagi, take two, but once it kicks in, it's brilliant. Eco mode off, kore dilam. Taking a U-turn and remarkable, remarkable turning radius. 
semi bucket seats so are very comfortable. Our suspension oh, is, is quite good. What this car can do in sports mode. Whoa! Instant throttle response. Instant. I love the love the guitar. Each have semi bucket and uh, it sort of hugs you and you're very comfortable. It's a snug fit, I have to say. When a bolt is hugging each other. So to the point direct. Saying Mark X is winner, winner chicken dinner? Hell yeah! Winner, okay. winner chicken dinner it is. I love the Mark X. I okay. mean, without the bland interior. I mean, it's to the point, but it's a bit bland. But without the interior, I would rate this car 10 out of 10. But just because of the interior, I would, I would rate it 9.2 out of 10. 10.2. I would give it a flat 9.5. Top to me, like interior bland. Okay, fine, that's it. But then again, you have to see. When you guys are Charlie, when you are day, heads are going to turn when you go from point A to B. Oh, heads are already turning. And <laughs> we have to tell you this: this car has no competition. This yeah. is in a league of its own. It's a statement there's in its own class. There's no 2.5 liter cars on the market right now. That is so exclusively well priced. Welcome back to iTrip. I'm Rahul Chowdhury. About the next segment, new runners. So, when we locally launch a car, like international launch car, we will tell you about So, Cholo, let's check out what are the new runners for this week. A new runner for this week locally is the all-new Audi A4. This is the fifth generation A4. The new A4 has a redesigned look with new LED headlights and taillights and is slightly larger than the outgoing A4 and is about 120 kgs lighter than its predecessor. The A4 is powered by a 1.4 liter inline four cylinder turbocharged engine with an output of 148 horsepower and 250 Nm meter of torque. The A4 is a direct competitor of the BMW 3 Series, the Mercedes C-Class, the Jaguar XE, and the Lexus IS. Our new runner for this week internationally is the all-new Honda Superior. This is a model which is going to be offered for the first time at least under this name, probably because it is actually an extension of the Honda Accord model. The Superior looks absolutely stunning with an edgy design and has pretty attractive features which can be related to the new Accord. It is powered by a 2.4 liter inline four cylinder engine with an output of 190 horsepower. Apart from the lights and a few added details, it is virtually the same as an Accord, but the Superior is going to manage to stand on its own and add to its own standalone status. Dekhte dekhte show almost ashi dikhe chole ashi, and this is the very sad part for me because I just love reviewing the Mark X. But chawar age, Joey, do you want to know anything, like any tips that you'd like me to tell you? Uh, let's put it to you this way. Yeah. I'm always up for learning, so anything which you think which might be important for me and for the rest of the people, fire away. Well, a lot of people have sunroofs on their cars now. The new Heim, the Tucson, Sonata, Panaroof, sunroof, Harrier, Bolin, X-Trail Bolin, everyone has it now and it's, it's a thing to have. Definitely. But you should know, sunroofs require proper maintenance. This is not a thing that you do China. Age channel gula dechen when the sunroof is open, they need to be cleaned regularly by your driver. It is a sunroof is a mechanism, it is a jam and this does not work efficiently. So you have problems of water seeping in, you have problems of dirt just always hanging there. And aste aste sunroof is pura ji eliota pura jinista. It is nostoy jete pare. I have an old 92 Land Cruiser which also has a sunroof, and I'm facing that very problem right now because. Although I'm giving the tips, <laughs> I've never able to maintain it. At least once a month, have the channels on your sunroof. Clean. Channels as in um, the sides, the borders, right? The borders. Border. Are a bit cooler. Oh. So, yeah. Thank you so much. That was actually necessary. I'm actually door I need to take care of my Lancer as well. Take it. If you want to further query, you can find our Facebook page on www.facebook.com slash rcbdd and the forum is posted on www.rcbdd.com We have a dedicated page for iDrive on Facebook, facebook.com slash iDrive and finally, email iDrive at independent24.tv There's one finality. You can watch all the episodes at my own page on Facebook, which is facebook.com slash avik1.anwar Wow, yes. I'm a fan! <laughs> It speaks for itself. Take care.
drive safe, and Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz.